Hey, sorry for the delay in any of the videos that I said I was going to do for you. Turns out two weeks ago, I somehow got pneumonia and didn't find out until yesterday. So I've been dragging, dragging butt for the last couple of weeks. Still took delivery, still been driving around, but uh, been having to take it easy. Um, here she is. Still haven't named her. So if you have any suggestions for names, um, that would be cool. I haven't come up with a name yet. Um, been loving it, put in over a thousand miles so far on her, um, best car, best car ever. Uh, I have had a couple of issues, a few minor things, the charging port, um, that doesn't open when, uh, when I put the charger next to it, I'll show you that, uh, either in this video or the next one. Um, last week, uh, when I went down to see Derek, um, Derek, uh, David and Eric, uh, the YouTubers about Teslas. Uh, on my way back, I started getting a um, emergency brake light and a low air pressure uh, light. And I was also getting like a steering wheel warning. And, and I was doing like 75 or so down or going up uh, I-25. And I just, you know, I didn't know what was going on. It, it did this for a good 15 minutes until finally I said, Heck with it, let's do a soft reboot. Um, and I was able to get a little bit of video on that. So I will show you that video uh, coming up. Um, it, I didn't know you could reboot the car doing 75 miles an hour. That was quite interesting. So we did that and it did clear the errors. So that was awesome. Um, system doing about uh, 77 80 miles an hour and it looks like it cleared the, the, the brake emergency brake and tire pressure indicators uh, we'll see what it does with the navigate on autopilot I also noticed that the temperature has come back because the temperature um, was off before so I think that's it's all been resolved. Again, all I did was supercharge and I started getting those errors. So now it's all cleared. We'll see how we do on the west, rest of the way home. Also in the last week, uh, I had Tesla maintenance come out uh, because the passenger side window had some scratches on it from delivery day. I didn't notice it. My wife noticed it. So they, they, we did the service thing and, uh, so they came out, they replaced that. The guy didn't want to be on video, but he let me take some pictures of it. And uh, so I'll show you, you know, I'll put those up so you can see that. But uh, it took all together, I would say it took him about 90 minutes, two hours to replace the window. He also looked at the charge port um, and he connected to the car and he couldn't figure it out. So he says he's gonna have to go back and uh, 
and, and you know, he said he's going to go back and make some notes and, and somebody will contact me. Nobody contacted me. So just now I, uh, I'm about to put in another service request so we can do that. It's just we, here. Let me see if I can show you. Let me go over here. Oop, there you go. So when I'm charging, let me go right here. I can pull that out and then hopefully that will close. There we go. So I don't know, am I doing something wrong here? So I come up with it, I push the button. Nothing. And I've tried it at a supercharger too. Nothing. I thought you were supposed to hit that button right there. I press and hold. Double press. Nothing. But if I press the door, then of course it opens. And I'm able to get in there and charge. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, so I'll work on that. Uh, I'll file a a, uh, a service. So thank you guys for all of that. All of those comments. I'll get that going too. Um, and then finally, somebody wanted to see the doors and how they work in my garage. So let me come back here. So you can see, I have just a normal garage door. All right, so here we go. We'll start with that one. So can it go up any higher than that? Let's see. So if I push it, it goes up higher and it misses that. So that's pretty cool. But let's, let's check the other one on the other side. Cause that's the real test over here. Cause you see, I got a lot of stuff over here and I'm guessing that's what you want to see. So here we go. So that seemed to work. Now let's see if I push it to go up anymore. Will it do it? I don't know if you saw that, but it pulled itself in and did it. I'll try it again. Let me turn off this director. I don't know how to turn off this director mode, but. See, that's a really good that's really good. That hinges so nice. It avoids that. Now watch over here. See, it pulls itself in. Now oh, that's really good. So it misses everything over here. And of course I have a pretty high ceiling, so that's good. So that's how the doors work in my garage they seem pretty good um, I'm gonna get to the lights um, you know we found out we don't have the, the matrix headlights but that's not a biggie um, but I'll get someplace I'll get my son out here and we'll we'll step on the lights and see how those work I'm also gonna do the 0 to 60 test I'm working on my safety score I don't know if that's gonna affect it um, I will say that I let my son drive once and I went from 96 to 62 in one drive. Uh, he's 17 years old. He drives a Camaro. He drives our Camaro around. But yeah, we, we went from 96 down to 62. I'm back up to 97 now. So we'll see if uh, the 0 to 60 will affect that at all. Uh, but I heard if I don't want a score to count, all I have to do is soft reset the the car uh before you hit park and that last drive won't count so we'll see how that goes hey um that's it for this one like i said i shouldn't be out here i'm gonna rest up a little bit um but and i'll get this posted 
but we are going on a road trip. Uh, we're going from Colorado to Pennsylvania. Uh, it's our and back again. Uh, we're leaving on Sunday, so we are going to be taking lots of video. Um, so like, uh, comment, give me comments of things you want to see, uh, while we're on the road, like it, subscribe. So you, you know, you'll get that notification, I guess, when, when we're out there, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be on the road in the model X. Uh, there's going to be four of us in the car, me, my wife, my daughter, and my, my older son, we're going to Chicago university and Carnegie Mellon, uh, cause he wants to do cybersecurity. So that's going to be coming up next so if there's anything you want to see while we're on that trip please let me know and thank you guys for everything i really love your comments uh you've made it really worthwhile and i love sharing this process with you so have a great day i will see you soon peace